So it's a glorious winter's day here and the sun's shining, it's lovely and warm. And this is Blossom and Leilani. So that's Leilani and that's little Blossom over there. And they're enjoying their sun time. It's really important that flying fox orphans get sun time because in the wild they're um, hanging with their mums at the tops of trees in the sun all day. And mums actually open their wings so the babies do get sun. And flying foxes need sun to um, prevent rickets and to also help prevent things like fungal wing infections, which they'll get if they don't get enough sun. So unlike the tiny insectivorous microbats, these large bats are my sun worshippers. Oh, someone's... That's Layla and he's going to have a flap. Yeah, so... We're doing this every morning on the nice days. The biggest struggle with these is to keep them warm. And we don't normally get little reds in our area, and we certainly, little red orphans anyway, we get lots of little reds in the summer, but they generally winter and give birth in far north Queensland. There we go, Leilani, good girl. Big flapping. Yeah, so Mr. Batsil and I usually sit out here. We, hang on, they're getting a bit excited there. Sit out here with that cup of tea while the babies have their sun time and... Um, then they'll go back inside and into a, a warm incubator about 31 degrees C or 32 degrees C. So you're getting a little bit warm over there, aren't you, Blossom? So there we go. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so they've had their bath, they've had their bottles, so they have, have some sun time. We'll go back in their incubator for... Um, until about lunchtime and then we oh, another flap. We're out for um, another bottle. Good stuff. <laughs>